If you haven't noticed, Tesla's lost a quarter of its value in a month. That is a $246 billion drop. What in the world is going on with Tesla? Oh my God. FSD beta getting us to where we need to be. I guess we're all dying, waiting for the world to lose control. All that and more, so let's get to it. If you haven't noticed, Tesla's lost a quarter of its value in a month. That is a $246 billion drop. What in the world is going on with Tesla? Joining us now is RBC Capital Markets Global Autos Analyst, Tom Noran. Tom, good to have you on uh, last call. What is going on with Tesla? Yeah, I mean, I think you have to keep in mind when it comes to Tesla, these types of moves are kind of par for the course, right? It was a trillion dollar market cap after the pandemic. Then it pulled back to about 300 billion after the whole Twitter saga. Then it rallied up to 900 billion uh, with the big uh, 2Q delivery number. Now it's pulled back to around 600 billion. It's still 600 billion plus market cap. Let's not forget that. But the yeah. reason why it's pulled back really, um, it's a couple of things. One is we heard from the 2Q call that there are gonna be some pullbacks in production in the third quarter. They wouldn't hit uh, their, you know, above 1.8 million uh, vehicle target delivery for 2023 for the Model 3 and the Model Y. I think some folks expect them to beat that. We also obviously saw the CFO departure. I think folks wanted to uh, understand that a little better. And then now you also have that all coupled in with the China price cuts. Yeah. So I think it's just a confluence of things all happening at the same yeah, time. Yeah, Par for the course indeed. Tesla's slide is in line with the rest of the Magnificent 7. All of what Tom says is true. Those are not catalysts to keep the stock higher, but, but Tesla stock is behaving similar to the other tech stocks that have gotten that significant AI bump earlier this year. The stock market behaves sort of like the tides in the ocean. Sometimes you have high tide and there's plenty of money in the market to flood higher growth. Other times, the waves go back out to sea, exposing more of the beach. There's just less money in the market right now. Considering the run of most of these tech stocks, it's almost like a year's worth of earnings in the first half of the year. In this harsh macroeconomic environment, you can't blame people for wanting to take a little bit of the profits, but the money isn't going too far. Trust me, there's still more to be had for the rest of this year. China and how much it matters, because China's economy, by I mean the little information we now get out of China, looks like they're on the precipice of a major slowdown. Yeah, I mean, it's a third of, uh, of, of, de of deliveries here for, for Tesla. So it's a very important market. There were sizable cuts there. But if you look at the market uh, share that Tesla has in China, it actually hasn't lost that much market share. It's around 8% market share. If you look at a company like VW, it's lost way more market share. It's only about 4% for, for EVs when it was about 20% for ICEs. So, you know, yeah, it is something that it, it, definitely folks should monitor. It's, it's definitely a concern. Uh, but remember, you know, Shanghai is its mo is Tesla's most lowest cost plant. It's it still can afford to cut prices there to keep the market share and not sacrifice on profitability. Definitely something the whole industry is 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 taking a, a look at uh, a slowing economy potentially there, demand uh, issues there. Uh, but you know, all yeah. in, in the grand scheme of things, Tesla is a company that can that that has managed this in the past. I'm not concerned about China at all. Tesla is doing remarkable in that region compared to some of the other auto manufacturers. It's not just VW struggling over there. When you're f***ing with Tesla, you're f***ing with the best. And despite all the turmoil that's going on over there in China, the cream will rise to the top. I know it looks bleak over there in China right now, but that's not how it's going to be forever. Where will you be when the market consensus turns and realize everything's just fine over there. Way ahead of you, cash register. Way ahead of you. We're here with our driving student, FSD Beta 11.3.6, seeing if we can get us to the dog park. What do you think, Chewy? We're gonna be okay? We're gonna get to that dog park? Let's see what we got. <laughs> We 
won't be going far, 13 minutes or so. We've got the one lane road ahead sign coming up. Right lane is closed. Let's see how FSD handles this. It gets over. Migrates past the bus. We had a little phantom braking there. I'm not sure if the FSD beta was concerned about the Metro there, but we're gonna go ahead and call. Report, phantom braking. Not a huge problem, but we don't want to be sitting there with a green light. Don't want to get ran into. Probably the Metro gave the uh, FSD Beta 11.3.6 a little pause. a little phantom breaking all through that out of the light there nothing serious but we're gonna go ahead and report it report phantom breaking exceptionally a plus on handling getting on Westheimer Parkway let's see how far it gets us see if it can handle this maneuver here this Get that. And then, oh my God. FSD beta getting us to where we need to be. Hello. That was a near flawless run for FSD beta. It didn't go far. Had some mild phantom braking coming in and out of lights. But, but I have a feeling it has to do with the spacing of the vehicles. That Metro was a big issue, but for the most part, this was a great ride. You ready to go do some stuff, Chew? Let's get to it!
The market is panicking about China and Tesla stock along with a lot of the other Magnificent 7 who benefit greatly from a productive China is having some of the air knocked out of their sails. Question is, will this be a long term impact or just a blip on the radar? And I'm giving FSD beta 11.3.6 mind you a B plus on that ride. Not a long ride, but we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time folks. That's all I got for you today. Be easy. Peace.